Hello, YouTube. So I took some pictures today, uh, some pictures of uh, these towers that go across the Lake Pontchartrain. Uh, previously shared another picture, very similar picture, um, but I wanted to take some fresh pictures with a little better focus. Uh, today I was using my Canon T5 and a uh, 300 millimeter max, uh, max zoom, and um, these are the pictures I was able to capture of the towers are actually better than the first one that I got. Um, you can see clear across the lake and you can actually see a uh, larger tower in the background. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm also Skeptropolis on Twitter, so you can look me up there. But um, let me just show you some of the things that I find interesting about these photos. So. <clears throat> This is a basically where I was taking the picture from. Uh, you know, I, I tried to guesstimate. I don't have GPS uh, on my camera, unfortunately. The T5 didn't have that, and um, so I tried to, you know, just roundabout guesstimate based on the street view uh, of the towers. That this is basically where I was taking the picture from. Um, it's on Lake Pontchartrain, the west side of Lake Pontchartrain. We were on our way back from New Orleans. And um, this kind of the red line shows you the towers uh, that the towers are actually on a direct line, and um, this pin right here is the tall tower that you see in the background, which I'll show you in a second here. But all of these towers, importantly, are on a straight line um, directly across the lake, and what we actually see is them curving over the horizon. Now this is what you this is what uh, the, basically the only way you can actually see the curve is at an angle like this otherwise uh, the horizon will appear straight because the curve part goes behind the horizon. But anyway um, if you zoom in on this image a little bit here uh, or if I zoom in correctly you can see um, this shadow back here that's the tall tower. So there's a tall tower that uh, once once the smaller towers cross the lake, it, it they actually uh, the lines go up onto this real tall tower. I've seen that before. I'm not sure about this tower because I haven't actually gone and look at it, but I've seen that before on the Mississippi River. They usually do that to um, like get into like a, some power plant or uh, some chemical plant that um, needs like big lines to come in. Um, so I'm not sure exactly why they use those t tall towers sometimes and uh, other times they just use these regular towers, these shorter towers. Of course the shorter towers are still huge. But um, that is definitely the tall tower and if we go to um, the image on the other side, which is this way I guess. Yes, here it is. So. In this image, you can see the tower a little clear right here. But it's interesting, you can see a mirage definitely um, in this picture and also uh, the previous picture. You can go back and look at it if you'd like to. Here it is. There's definitely a mirage here forming. Um, the Lake Pontchartrain is still cold uh, from the winter. Uh, well, I say cold. It's it's cold compared to the hotter temperatures in Louisiana. It's, it would be hot for any other body of water, but um, it definitely does create that uh, that mirage. And let's go back to this. Oh, this this isn't a good one. There, Where, where's the good one? Well, I guess we're both about the same, but you can definitely see this tower back here. It's getting cut off by this mirage here. You can see the bases are starting to get cut off by the mirage here. But the important thing to note is that these towers are definitely curving over the horizon right here. And that's what you would expect because there's more, basically the tower density per pixel um, is getting larger and larger as they move off into the, the distance, right? But due to perspective, there's more towers per pixel, and so you're going to see more curvature 
at the end, obvious curvature, because you're having you're crossing a larger distance in fewer pixels. So the curve's going to be way more apparent. But it's obvious. I mean, the thing that they do curve, it curves from both sides. Um, so it's not like, you know, some weird one-sided effect. It's definitely curving from both sides in the direction you would expect. That's because the surface of the water is curving. So everyone that keeps saying, show me curving water, well, here it is. Here's the curving water. These towers go straight across it, and uh, they obviously curve. Um, I, I do invite flat earthers to give me alternate interpretations. If they think they can explain this with some, um, you know, reasoning, then please do. But if you're just going to say that it's, you know, something like perspective optics or some weird thing that you don't define, uh, and can't draw a diagram for, um, a diagram, a rational diagram. I'm not talking about stinky gaseous diagrams. I'm talking about like a rational diagram that actually makes sense. If you can't do that, then d don't please don't comment in on. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm all up for you know rational debate and a little fun with it. But um, if you're just gonna you know basically troll, what, what's the point? You're just wasting everybody's time. So don't even bother with that. So anyway, I thought this was a couple interesting pictures. Um, I would like to go back there with a, a larger lens, um, or preferably a telescope, but the problem is, uh, the location, uh, the location is not like <laughs> suitable for taking pictures. We had to actually pull over on the shoulder. It's a, basically a bridge or a causeway. We had to pull over on the shoulder, put our blinkers on, and I had to try and snap a shot as fast as I could. I tried to film some, but with a 300 millimeter lens, it's not, and it's a slow lens. It's not a very uh, high quality lens. Um, so it's it's got a lot of shake. It really needs to be on a tripod. Um, but I was basically hand holding it, and was able to get a couple good shots. But um, it would be awesome to have like. Uh, you know, a little bit more time, maybe be escorted by a sheriff or something, um, so that we don't have to worry about getting smashed by motor vehicles, but I'm not sure how interested <laughs> local sheriffs are in flat earth. Uh, but, um, yeah, it would be nice to have like a P900 or maybe, uh, maybe it'd even be better to have like a cement crash screen, uh, telescope attached to the camera. Uh, that would be really cool, I think, because then you'd definitely be able to see the full 15 miles, because that's what we're looking at here. It's about uh, 15 miles, um, a little bit over 15 miles, I think. Actually, let me measure directly from the observer so we can get a better idea, but uh, it's roughly 15, 15 and a half miles um, that we're looking at here to the tall tower, so let me zoom in over here. See. Yeah, almost almost 16 miles. So, so at 16 miles, you know what type of predictions? Uh, what type of predictions does the conventional model make? Uh, that's an interesting question. So, let's see if we can look at that as well. Uh, what did I do with that page? I find it. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to cut out everything before this of me trying to pull this up. But, okay, so here here's a spreadsheet that I've used a few times to basically show what the conventional predictions are. And this is uh, an observer from 15 feet to 60 feet. I'm not exactly sure how tall the overpass is right there above the water. Um, I mean, I'm guessing it's between 30 and 60 feet, uh, but I don't really know exactly how tall it is. But it's, it's just somewhere in that range. I think that's a pretty good estimate. And um, the tower we're looking at is, uh, what I said, 15.9. Let's put 16 miles here. So, Okay, so 16 miles. And so let's just look at these estimates real quick. Uh, uh, slide over one more. Uh, here, insert one right. Okay, <clears throat> so 
16 miles away is the target object and the observer is 10 to 60 feet and these are the obstruction heights right here so yeah what we what we expect to see here is um, you know the tower would be obstructed um, 18 25 30 so anywhere from 18 to 80 feet I mean we're way above 10 10 feet so that's not really even reasonable um, it's more like at least 30 feet um, so we're talking about you know 20 to basically 20 to 40 20 to 40 feet potential obstruction of that tower and that tower is way tall uh, I don't know how tall it is honestly um, but it's it's up there and feel free to you know look up the stats and tell me how tall it is that would be helpful put it in the description I mean, put it in the comments maybe I can do a follow-up video if people are actually interested in more info um, okay so yeah that's pretty much it guys uh, follow me on Twitter I'm always thrashing flat earth so it's fun we all do it in good fun and it's uh, it's a good time all right guys if anybody wants to copy these uh, photos, I'll be happy to send it to them. If they want to do their own analysis, uh, it's fine. And I'll give you, you know, all the GPS coordinates and everything if you really want it. But uh, I think it's an interesting example of, uh, you know, the shape of the Earth being demonstrated plain as day. And um, it's interesting to see the mental gymnastics that occur. All right, guys, enjoy.